Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, and today I get my ninth dose of ketamine treatment. This time they're going to increase the dose higher than the last time. Because the last time I had, uh, I forget what the dosage was, but anyway, it's time to increase it. And I wasn't going to do another one of these video updates, but I. I don't know, I felt compelled to, I guess, just uh, just because of a few things I experienced over the week. And uh, I, I just felt I needed to get it out because I... You always hear from the positive stories, you always hear from the success stories, but you don't always hear from the not-so-successful stories, and mine so far isn't really that successful unless something changes within the next couple of weeks after these uh, increased doses but they're only once a week so I don't know how this is going to work but my last week has been brutal to uh, put it lightly I've uh, yeah I just uh, my thoughts are not there I just can't think about things I can't focus or concentrate my creativity that I used to have just totally just disappeared. It's wiped out. I don't know where it went, and it's it's very uh, it's it's disappointing him for the most part trying to uh, trying to capture that again because creativity like, like writing my poems, taking photos, making videos, those are the things that kept me going. These are the things that kept me getting up each day and getting outside and doing things it's those three major items right there and uh, right now I'm uh, I'm having a hard time with with all of them in addition to struggling with the creativity side I've also been very depressed which is kind of ironic not ironic I guess but I was depressed anyway but I figured after at least a month of ketamine treatment I would start to feel better but I'm not uh, I'm not feeling better at all and in fact these last few days it's uh, it's been even more challenging like I'll find myself zoning out and just fantasizing about I don't know like I have suicidal thoughts I have those on a regular basis that's I don't look at suicidal thoughts any different than I would say looking at the weather just it's just trivial to me now but the last week it's been a bit scarier for me because I've been thinking about it more and more and more no I'm not at risk so just you can stop right there I'm not at risk I don't have anything set up or any plans made but I did find myself thinking about different ways that I could end up killing myself and like for example, like I thought about okay, like I don't like pain, I don't like suffering, I don't want none of that, and uh, so whatever it is has to be something that's uh, that's not going to make me suffer, and and here I am smiling and talking about this even though I know it's uh, serious. Like I sat down for ten minutes just visualizing what different textures of rope would feel like around my neck, and which would cause me the most pain like narrow rope would probably pinch wider rope might be a little bit better not so hard on the uh on the neck i don't know that's the stuff that i think about and that's what i'm dwelling on all week and and it's uh it's horrible and i just can't shake it so not only do i have those suicidal thoughts on a regular basis i'd say almost every day in the last week I cried at least once there might have been a couple days I never cried but there's been most days I cried once and a couple twice you just get overwhelmed with emotions and and uh, and, and it takes a toll on you and you just break down you have to and, uh, and of course you feel a little better after a good cry but still <laughs> it leads to the next cry and then the next cry and uh, it doesn't make for a fun day and in, in addition to the depression my anger is 
is less manageable. I had that under control pretty good for the longest time. But in the last week, I got I punched the wall. I've been very impatient with my dog. Never physically harmed him or anything like that. But I, I just, I got no time for people and animals, pets that that are there for me. It's like it's everything is just agitating, irritating, and I'm just going on and on blabbing about this right now. Because it's a, it's a, I'm having a vent here. Let me just let me vent. I'll be done in a second. But yeah, I like anger issues has been problematic lately, and uh, so like none of this feels like progress. That's the thing. Nothing feels like progress right now, and I don't know what's happening. What's going to happen? I got to have this program. I decided I was going to try out. It's a retreat, a veterans retreat in March or April where I go away to Algonquin Park for a week and just live in the woods and uh, I don't know you do psychedelic treatments, you do cold water therapy, you do those uh, silent chambers, I forget what they're called, you do a bunch of different uh, types of treatments but even that right now is uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to cancel once I get off this camera because I just I just can't do anything and I can't get out of the house. I can't leave the house. I. <sighs> That's a lot, isn't it? Just in a few minutes, to opening this up. Oh man, what did I get myself into, right? Fear, fear. It's irrational. It's but I don't know if it's fear or if it's just anxiety in general. Because. Like yesterday, I, I had a haircut appointment with a friend, a close friend of mine who lives about a five minute walk across the trail. And I almost canceled that. Like I was worked up. I was like three hours just pacing the house because I got an appointment because I had a commitment coming up. And uh, and it was, you, you wouldn't know that you were going to bring me out to pull my teeth or something like that it's uh it's crazy and i know i say crazy a lot yeah i need a new word i need some new words but yeah even dropping off my vehicle that worked me up felt like i was going to see some sergeant major and get a strip torn off me from screwing up or something Anyway, I'm done with this blabbing portion, this venting portion. I apologize for venting, but it's getting crap off my chest. So now I'm going to go and have a coffee and some water while I wait for my taxi to come for my next session. So I will see you shortly. Well, the cab is there. They're always early. Blood pressure is good as usual. I just had my first dose. Today I get three doses, so six squirts. Yay. Just had my second two doses. Wait for my third now before I touch those Tic Tacs. Last three doses. Last two doses. Yeah. Now I'm ready for my Tic Tacs. Relaxes some nature sounds. This is the fun part now. You finish your session and you gotta wait, sober up a bit before you leave.
Hello again, it's me. I made it through my ninth session. And I gotta say, I actually enjoyed that session. I came away feeling better. And uh, it could have been the fact that it was a stronger dose instead of the normal, uh, usually you get two squirts in each nostril, or one squirt in each nostril, then a second squirt in each nostril, and then a third, or, in, or that's it. But this time, Ended up getting a third uh, a dose in each nostril to increase the amount of ketamine in my system, and uh, this time I really did uh, have a have a pretty good experience. I had my headphones on, listening to nice nature sounds, sitting by this lake, hearing these loons, and hearing birds chirping, the water just uh, rippling along the edge of the shoreline. And that's where I pretty much kept myself the entire time. I closed my eyes and I just uh, imagined myself in a nice secluded place like that, just sitting back and enjoying myself. And that's what I did. And, uh, and, it, and it helped. It brought me down. I came away from it uh, definitely a lot better than when I went into it. Because you probably <laughs> remember the beginning of this video how... Uh, how pissed off I was about everything and frustrated. And it may all go back to that again tomorrow. Who knows? Once the effects of the ketamine wears off in a couple hours, I could be just as miserable and cranky as ever. But in the meantime, this good feeling that I have right now, I'm going to hang on to it and savor it for a little bit. And uh, hopefully that aftertaste sticks around a bit longer than the uh, aftertaste of the actual ketamine treatment itself because that stuff is gross. So that's it for this video. I was going to do my normal long 30-40 minute video dragging out my entire week but I decided just to do a quick recap today instead of let, letting you be tortured by my mumbling because I know how I sound. Put you to sleep. <laughs> so anyway Thanks for watching again, and uh, last time I said that was it, I'm done with these videos, but uh, I changed my mind at the last minute, as you can tell. So who knows, it could happen again. You may see me again in another ketamine video. But apparently it's, uh, it's mainly if I end up getting very cranky and agitated and sad and depressed. For some reason, when those moods kick in, that's when the camera comes out. It's, it's like there has to be an emotion attached to me bringing this out and talking to it. And uh, this morning that, mo that emotion was anger, depression, rage, anxiety, fear, the whole works of it. And, uh, but right now I'm, I'm settled. I'm in a better place. So I am going to go and try and stay in that place. Anyway, take care.